Paper Mario The Thousand or Door High Definition just got announced for the Switch. Me being a super fan of the game, I couldn't help but notice some of the differences between the High Definition remake in the trailer compared to the original on the GameCube. So I thought, why don't I make a video about some of the changes between the two? So with my further ado, here are some of the changes that I've noticed so far. Number 1. In the beginning of the trailer, in Mario & Luigi's house, you see a photo of the characters from the original Paper Mario. Number 2. Again in Mario & Luigi's house, you see a picture on the wall. If you look closely enough at it, it is actually the map of the Mushroom Kingdom from again the original Paper Mario. Number 3. When Mario rides a cheap blimp plane, instead of it just being him inside, now it's the whole crew, rather it just being him in the GameCube version. Number 4. In the beginning of the trailer, it shows the envelopes in the bottom left, but they display no text. But if you go over to the GameCube version, there's text all over them. Number 5. For some reason in Glitzville, there's a brand new type of toad, a purple toad with some sort of hat. But if you go over to the GameCube version, there's not even a toad there. Number 6. Okay, this one's actually kind of funny. When Kami Koopa wants to have a picnic in Petalburg, Bowser usually yells Airhead, but for some reason in the remake, he yells Lunkhead now. What's all that about? Number 7. For some reason in the Glitz Pit main area building, Rockhawk has a new pose, almost like he's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Number 8. When Mario gets cursed by the black chest, his animation is now different. I, for one, think it looks pretty good, actually. Number 9. Characters make unique sounds when they talk. Koops even makes Koopa sounds. Number 10. Text light is red like in the Japanese version, but in the North American version, it's blue. Number 11. Characters are more expressive. Poor Coop's girlfriend. Number 12. The logo is now the same as the Japanese version and not the English version. Thank you so much for watching, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and if you would like to see another Paper Mario video I recently made, then click the video down below. And this is BaconTTYD, and I'll catch you guys next time.